This is the time where letting our guard down can have dire results for the entire community. The CEO of a life plan community is addressing tough questions facing long-term care providers. Thanks for staying with us tonight. I'm Evan Forrester. Despite safety measures and visitor bans, more than half of coronavirus deaths in Pennsylvania are linked to nursing homes and long care facilities. And now they're facing another crisis. Fox 43's Rachel Young Kunis reveals how some facilities are running out of money as they continue to fight COVID-19. This week marks one year since long-term care facilities closed their doors and banned in-person visits. Families still have many questions about what's going on in these facilities. Fox 43 reveals a closer look and talks with providers about new challenges they're now facing. Families fear their loved ones are deteriorating. That's something we, we were concerned about from day one. One on one with Bob Rundle, president and CEO of Spirit Trust Lutheran. We're getting a closer look at what's going on inside some of Pennsylvania's long term care facilities. My predecessor used to say they're flying the plane as they're building it, and that's very much what's going on right now. Spirit Trust Lutheran runs six life plan communities, including assisted living, at home care, and skilled care. There have been 18 COVID related deaths at their skilled nursing center, raising questions about state government guidelines that allow long-term care providers to accept COVID positive patients from hospitals. Why take in COVID positive patients? Isn't that dangerous? We have invented very few from the outside community as we've tried to protect those that are within the organization. But the reality is, as a faith-based organization, we have people out there that need services. You can't abandon these people. So we take all our precautions and where we can, we admit them into a cohort. And, and they are filling beds that would otherwise be vacant? Well, I, the other issue right now for all of us are our census is down. So there is not this influx into the nursing home. So there are beds available within nursing homes to be able to create these, these safe areas. This is a tough question, but I yeah. have to ask anyways. Okay. What would you say to people who assume you're putting profits over quality of care? We do not put profit. I will tell you, sitting in meetings, the conversation is what's best for our resident. Now, all that being said, we are still a business, but we always look at stretching as hard as we can to serve as many people as we can. The organization may be stretched too thin. Spirit Trust Lutheran is facing a multi-million dollar budget deficit. They've had to cut seven community programs. Our budget in 2020 is actually $20 million higher than we actually received in 2020. So there was a $20 million gap. Nationwide, nursing homes are running out of money. A survey by the American Healthcare Association found that only 34% of nursing homes believe they can survive the next year. 28% say they will not make it another six months at their current operating pace, a concern that's hitting close to home. In Pittsburgh late last year, we saw a nursing home announce their closure altogether. In southeastern Pennsylvania, we've seen a nursing home announce their sale that was completed a couple of months ago. This is the beginning of a trend. When you take into account the COVID-19 expenses, whether it's added for staffing, for testing, for PPE or personal protective equipment, I mean, you're talking about nearly $100 million in added costs to this sector, sometimes per week. That's why advocates for long-term care providers are calling for more federal funding to help facilities like Spirit Trust Lutheran. The life plan community is facing staffing shortages and team members are working overtime. Rundle says he's bracing for impact. I'm worried when this is over, when the adrenaline that has had people continuing to push every day goes away. That's when I think we'll see some of the impact of the emotional drain on individuals. We also asked Spirit Trust Lutheran when families can see their loved ones again. Rendell says these facilities are bound by state and federal guidelines, so we reached out to the Department of Health about reopening long-term care facilities. See their response on fox43.com. Fox 43 reveals issues that affect you and your family to keep you informed. Do you have a story you want us to investigate? Send us a confidential email at fox43reveals at fox43.com.